Come here, Bo. I just can't believe this place exists here, like one block away from all that tourism is this tiny little shop. Gombei! Yeah. Our last meal. Isn't this crazy? This is insane. And what blows me away is we are right beside the tourist center. Right, yeah, and this is like the most local place I've been in so long. Yeah, very, very old lady. Old the old place. Like. In Sedong is known as the cultural tourist center of Seoul. But in a tiny alleyway, somehow magically hidden just below the surface of all the chaos just meters away, a tiny restaurant exists as a portal into another era of Korea. This is Igabi. Since 1957, this restaurant has been serving homemade rice wine and fried atka mackerel to local patrons. The ceiling is low, the lighting is dim, and the walls are covered in messages from visitors throughout the years. And the owner, a tough ajma who's been in charge for 37 years, takes care of each customer as if they were her own children. This may be one of the most unique matchip I have ever experienced. Please subscribe if you enjoy learning about amazing food experiences and enjoy the video. I'm here with my friend Hidong. Hidong is a food scientist. Just, we'll get some very scientific, uh, some scientific viewpoints <laughs> on the food. Um, right now we're heading into Insadong. We heard about a kind of a secret matchup and they've been open since 1957. So Hidong and I made it to Insadong. We're about to go down this tiny little alleyway in the middle of this touristy center of Seoul. It's like you're instantly going through some portal to another time. And one block away, it's so noisy and already you can hear it's like quiet. And then there's a K-pop store. After the K-pop store, we're gonna get some makgeolli. I'm blown away. This is the lowest ceiling I've ever seen in a Korean restaurant. And we just got some sang makgeolli. Ah, Imyeong soup. Okay, Imyeong soup. Ah, wow. Oh, it smells so good. Perfect. Basically, we came in. We didn't even order. She just like gives us the regular place. I love her. And what is this fish? Imyeongsu. Imyeongsu? Imyeongsu. Imyeongsu. I don't know what Imyeongsu is. Wow, it looks really good. So we got imyeonsu. I don't know what kind of fish it is in English. Um, it looks incredible. Just grilled fish. So nice, man. So, so nice. Really just like super oily, salty. It's gonna be really good with uh, makgeolli. Next! Come on. We got a whole bowl of makgeolli to drink. Let's try the makgeolli. Ooh, it's very nice. Really nice makgeolli. A little bit sour, very thick. Not too sweet. 
This is awesome. Dude, the fish is amazing. It's so soft. You should try the fish, try the fish. Is it for oil? Yeah, it's super oily, super tender. So simple, just some salt and grilled fish. Man. It's fucking awesome. I just can't believe this place exists here, like one block away from all that tourism. Is this tiny little shop? <laughs> I feel like maybe the ceiling is gonna fall down. It's like mother's room. Mother's room. I like this feeling. Yeah, me too. Isolated. Yeah. Wow, this is awesome. I dropped the fish. Thank you. Hidong was like, it feels like we're in mother's room. Yeah. It definitely feels like it. And it's amazing. And she's like taking care of us. I love the emos and the ajumas who are very tough. Like we sat down at the back and she was like, hey, come to the front. I don't wanna I don't wanna walk all the way back there. Move closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like a kind a kindness thing. It's it's not a bad thing. Friendly. Yeah. Very cool. And we didn't even order, by the way. We she was like, You want makali? We said yeah, and then we get fish with it. She's super awesome. Awesome. I love that she serves it in this giant steel bowl. Oh, that's so nice. Eric's gonna meet us here. If you remember, Eric was with us for the. Daegu Machip tour and Eric lives in Seoul so I'm excited to show him a place in Seoul. Right. So we found out this is in English Akka mackerel, must be a species of mackerel. But it's so interesting to me that Korea has different names for this fish. Because when I tried it I thought for sure it tastes like Gorongo. Gorongo is very oily and very salty and very rich, like, almost like tuna. Yeah, Actually Gorongo I like better than tuna, I think. I like it better than Goromo. It's thicker than Goromo. Yeah. Once Eric gets here, we're gonna order more makgeolli, more food. Uh, this is one of those places where you just want to stay all night long. I could sleep here. Dude, this fish is amazing. Oh my god. So good. So good. With the makgeolli, hair. I think it's because you're a food scientist. I'm eating with a food scientist. The fish is very oily. And the makgeolli pairs really well with oily food, I think. Like maybe the pH level of the makgeolli. Mm. It's just perfect. Take a bite of fish with a swig of makgeolli. That's why pajan, right? Pajan's very oily. It's really good with makgeolli. I just, I still can't believe this is an in insadong. Insadong is uh, not where I would think this neighborhood. Is. Honestly, when when I first walked in here, I felt a little nervous because it's so hidden and it feels very local. And like every, all the customers are probably regular customers. There's no tourists here. You felt nervous too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel a little nervous. I would say if you're traveling to Korea. Don't be nervous to go into these little places because like they seem intimidating because they're very local but the ajuma will take care of you. Gombe! Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah, way better than the one I had yeah. last time in. <laughs> this one's really good actually. It's a good mock. It reminds me of the uh, Junju one. Yeah, your turn. Mm. We need to go back there. Isn't this crazy? This is insane. 
And what blows me away is we are right beside the tourist center. Right, yeah. And this is like the most local place I've been in. Oh, yeah, very, very good old lady. Hole in the wall place. Like, so, dude, this place has been open since 1957. It's as old as my dad. Like, yeah, dude. I think they haven't changed anything since then. It doesn't, it doesn't look like this is not the regulation, I'll say that. But I don't know, man. It does, it does feel nice. Like, like cozy, like, yeah. Yeah. This fish smells really good, so I it hope is I don't awesome. really have to wait. When, yeah, when, <laughs> hopefully she gets to it. I think I've had it three times this week. Eric wants some Jeyo Polkum, so we're gonna get some Jeyo Polkum. <laughs> You've had it three times yeah, this week, and Makali last night. Wow. <laughs> the Jeyo Polkum's on me. Honestly, like, this is a type of mackerel. Okay. But it's called something different in Korean. Mm. Not not gorongo. Gorongo is what I think of mackerel. In but mackerel is species. Yeah, like a species of mackerel. Well, yeah. It tastes really. It's that sonma. Definitely. <laughs> smells good. <laughs> Alright, let's try the Jeyu Bokum here. Wow, it smells really good. It smells very garlicky. Oh, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. So I ate it like three times a week. <laughs> it's really easy to eat. It's really good and it, it fills you up. I'm so happy you came back. I'm really happy. Thank you. Down the Jungro. Jungro. This is really good. Like, yeah, it's a filling dish. Like a good lunch time dish. Like, it'll keep you going for a while. Uh, fucking makgeolli is amazing. This makgeolli is heavy one. Yeah, it's really thick. 